the president has enacted some policies to try to make the government's own uh, operations more green, uh, notably trying to make the fleet of vehicles uh, electric vehicles, 650,000 of them. Where does that effort stand? Yeah, this is a, a really important thing, first of all, because the federal government ought to lead by example. The policy of this administration is to go green, so our vehicles ought to reflect that. Secondly, just think about the purchasing power uh, of the federal government, just, just with the, the cars that, that we buy. So uh, I know that that entails a lot of different bodies, right? You got the, the Postal Service, which is a, uh, a quasi governmental entity, you got the Department of Defense, even here in the DOT. Of course, we don't own most of the transportation assets in the country, but we got a lot of uh, cars and other vehicles that we use. We got to make sure we're leading the way, too. Uh, so the president has channel challenged us with an executive order uh, to be moving in the direction of more climate friendly operations. Uh, we're running with that, and we're going to uh, make sure that we're uh, setting very aggressive targets and hitting them. Finally, when you think about just the size of government agencies, programs, conservative economists have drawn parallels to LBJ's Great Society and suggested that. Massive government spending paired with, you know, wartime programs would lead to out of control inflation. You're a student of history. Why do you believe that is or is not the case? I believe it's not the case because uh, it's been shown not to be the case in our time. For the last 40 years, the U.S. has pursued a policy of intentional disinvestment. And as a consequence, we've fallen behind the rest of the developed world. We need to decide whether we are content to permanently remain behind the rest of the developed world or whether we're ready to take the lead again. Uh, the very era that those economists are referring to are a time when U.S. leadership was unquestioned. Sadly, that's not the case today. Uh, you look at the investments China alone is making in, for example, their infrastructure. It is a multiple of what we here at home are doing, and that's going to have consequences for our competitiveness in the long term. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.